everyone, welcome to this initial thoughts and walkthrough of the Headspace Campers rooftop conversion in our new Troopy. Okay, so this is an initial walkthrough and just my first thoughts on it because we haven't had it very long. We've only just started traveling in it, so I can't say much for its longevity, but first impressions, that's what I'm gonna be going through today and just the features. But I'm gonna say that the construction, the build quality is fantastic. So I'm quite confident the longevity of the unit will be very good. So as I said, this is a Headspace Campers rooftop conversion. It is a new conversion to the market. It is Australian made in Brizzy. Ollie, the owner and the creator of this, started off with Defenders and he's moving on to Troopies now. And he's been doing them for a few months now and he's been designing it for quite a few years. So there's three different models you can get. Uh, they start at around 12 and a half grand, I believe, and go up to 20 for the premium version. We have the premium version. We'll run through some of the premium features that we have soon. So when we bought a troop, we knew we wanted a rooftop conversion because it just turns uh, the troop carrier into, my opinion, the best two person tour you can possibly have. Essentially what you're doing is cutting the roof off and adding a tent. The beauty of it is, is when the roof is popped up, the bed goes up with it. So you can stand in the back of the troopy. And when you want to go to bed, you pull the bed down and you jump up inside. There's heaps of advantages to it, not just standing up. It's also getting the weight of the tent nice and low uh, because it's a slim design and you're just lowering your overall height. So there's a couple of uh, conversions on the market. Uh, we were looking at practically all that are available, but there I thought there was just a few shortcomings from the other conversions that were a bit of a deal breaker for me, uh, especially when you're outlaying this kind of money for a conversion, you really want it to be perfect. Uh, so I think this is as close to perfect for us as you can get. Okay, so one of the main reasons we wanted this tent is, uh, well, that attracted me to it is I'm, I'm quite tall and it's the pitch of this tent. It's like 42 and a half degrees, I believe. Don't quote me on that, but it is really, really tall when you're inside. When you're inside, it's, it's huge, it's enormous. So that also allows, obviously, plenty of headspace, but when you're sleeping, you've got plenty of room up the hinge end to sleep for your head. So your head doesn't have to be down the other end where it's a bit harder to get up in the middle of the night if you've got uh, someone else in the tent with you. You don't have to swing your legs around, anything like that. So we much prefer sleeping up this end. So we really needed that big hitch, which this has. A couple of other points that really attracted us to this design was obviously uh, the way it looks. I genuinely think it's the best looking conversion of the market by far, they actually retain the original roof. So they actually cut the original roof out and use the top uh, sheet of metal and put it onto the frame. So you're retaining that ribbing that the troopies have. Uh, so it really actually kind of looks stock when you've got nothing else on the roof, no panels or anything like that. You kind of have to do a little double take to even notice you've got a roof conversion on there. It's only adding 50 mil to the height. So it's very, very low. So another advantage of having, um, you're allowed to have the second row of seats in the rear, which is fully engineered, uh, which I believe is different to other conversions in the market. I think there is options for that, but I know for other conversions, but I know this one is fully engineered for a second row of seats. As I said, there is heaps of options uh, with this conversion. There's three different packages you can, you can get, but uh, one, of, one of the things that a lot of people want uh, our internal hinges. This can be done on this. The owner doesn't recommend it for a few different reasons. Uh, we have hinges on the outside and I can say that the hinges are very um, strong and they've held up well so far. As I said, we haven't used it for very long, so I will speak of its longevity down the, down the line. Another great selling point for this uh, conversion for us was the canvas. It is a really heavy duty canvas. It's blackout canvas, so if you zip all the windows up inside, it's very dark, which is great when you want that sleep in. You know, if you're down in Tassie, summer, it's still cold, but in the mornings it's bright very early. So you can get that canvas closed and it's nice and dark, which is a big selling point for us. It has huge windows all around, which is fantastic. They can be either unzipped, so it's just a gauze, and they can also be fully unzipped, so you can just have a completely open space upstairs. And they're huge, so they're fantastic for opening up. I can put the uh, awning poles in really nice and easily just by unzipping the whole window. On the awnings, you're gonna notice that we've got one at the back there. One thing that struck me was how thick the uh, steel poles were that hold the awnings up. They're just that spring steel. I've found in tents and things in the past with that same design, I found them lacking. 
Uh, these are made by Ollie himself at Headspace Campers and they're super, super tough and they really put a lot of tension on that awning. And in the wind, it's quite windy now, it's holding up really, really well and we haven't really noticed it flapping at night, which is just a huge advantage. So with the premium version, and you can actually get as an option as well, you can get extra awnings on the side. So the awnings from the side go from the back, the back of that awning or the corner of that corner of that awning there and down to this section here. So you can cover up the sides. We've opted to not take them on this trip as we didn't think we would be using them, but it has an extra spring steel pole, which sticks out and holds that up on the side. You do have to unzip them when you wanna pack the tent up because it goes around the gas strut. So you just have to keep that in mind. As I said, we didn't bring them for this trip, but if you really want side awnings for bad weather, uh, rain, and you really wanna keep all the windows open, you do have that option. Some other things that are included with the premium version is the roof rails at the top, which we have mounted Rhino rack rails to, and then our solar panel, which is fantastic. The gas struts are really, really large and thick. Uh, so the roof does go up. We do find we need two people every now and then to push it up to make it a bit easier. Um, but we do have a bit of weight on the roof with the solar panel. Um, seal seems very good so far. We haven't noticed any dust. We haven't been through any rain yet, um, but it seems good so far. All right, so that's some of the features of the outside of the tent. We will run onto the inside now because there's heaps to go through. Before we jump up into the inside of the conversion, part of the premium version has the step included, which is fantastic. It's one thing less you have to get, so you can stand up, get back into the troopy, which is really good. All right, let's jump inside and we can show you some of the features. All right, so here we are inside the troopy. Uh, as you can see, there's heaps of room when I'm sitting down, even when I'm standing up. So I might go at a shot here, but I'm um, six foot two and it's probably like three meters to the roof. So yeah, super, super <laughs> huge amount of space and height. With the large pitch um, and being up inside, we find that it's got really a lot, it's got a lot of usable space. So you find yourself, you're standing in the middle. If the pitch is highest right at the rear, no one stands right at the rear of a troopy. They stand in the middle to do things. So that's where your most usable height is and that's what we've got in here. So it's really, really good. A Couple of other uh, inclusions. So this is the premium version, as I said, it has that timber paneling on the bottom, which just looks like a really premium. Um, it really brightens the whole uh, interior up, makes it feel a bit more homely, I think, which is great. We've got two trap doors at the back and they're split on gas struts. So, so they come down and they go up. They can take my weight, no worries. So I can stand on these, which is fantastic. The premium version, and I think it's an option with the other versions, come with two cushions for those at the rear. So if you want a super long bed, um, you can have those on there, but we find we just didn't really need them because the bed is long enough. It's about the length of a double bed. It's not quite as wide, but it is as long. So that was plenty for us when we we're camping. Uh, so we just left the cushions off, but they are included, but we just find what we're putting all our clothes down that end, uh, which is fantastic. And it's a split trap door. So um, you don't have to put the whole thing up and move clothes. You can have clothes on one and the other one open. So that's a great feature. Another inclusion with, I think this might be on the other conversions, but again, just double check on the website what all this includes, but we've got lights. So uh, when the roof conversion is done, you do remove the cabin light, but they do replace it with a far nicer LED one. They're touch lights. So you've got one up the front here and then you've got one here. So that's touch light that's on, which is really nice. Lights up the cab at night. All right. So now that we've run through this space, let's pull the bed down and we can show you the bed, how thick the mattress is, and what we've got up there. All right, welcome to our bedroom, uh, now two-story house. So as you can see, plenty of room up here. Um, as I said, it's not quite as wide as a double bed, but it is as long as a double bed. Um, so the mattress that comes with the premium version is 75 mil. Now, I have taken that out because I did sleep in it for a few nights and I found for me personally, I just wanted a little bit more. I think honestly for most people, 75 mil will be totally fine. It's just that I sleep on my side and I'm hundred kilos. So I think, I don't know, I just kept getting a little bit sore on my shoulders. As I said, I was used to the Camp King Industries tent before where I had a huge mattress in it that I put in myself again. Uh, so I just wanted the most comfortable sleep possible. So 
Um, I think that's important when you're out camping to get the best sleep possible. So my solution was, uh, is to get a um, blow-up mattress underneath. That's from Drifter or something like that. But it goes down to about 25 mil and you actually, it's semi blow up, so it's got foam and air. I have a little Ryobi blower, I blow it up, and then on top of that, I've got a 50 mil gel sort of topper from a Koza, and it's the exact same one that we have in our better home. So all up, that's about 75 mil, which is the same thickness when it's down, and then when I pump it up, it's like 150 mil all up, because the blow up mattress blows up to 100 mil. So that's just really, really comfortable. As I said, I don't think everyone would need to do that. That's just me personally, I'm a bit of a softie, I like a really good sleep. Um, but the 75 mil mattress was pretty good. Uh, a lot of tents have much thinner mattresses as standard. So I think that's all right. Um, as you can see, we've got our doona up here. It's a feather down doona. We've got our heater blanket, 12 volt heater blanket. We've got a point down there that was installed by Project Overlander. And we've got our two fitted sheets and we've got our two pillows here. Now we don't leave our pillows here when we pack it up. We put our pillows down on the trap doors because I remember I said that we don't have our cushions, so we've got storage of those down there. I think with the pillows, it would be a bit hard to close up top. So we find that it is a bit more of a two person job to close in the morning, just making sure all the canvas is tucked in right at these edges at the side, just to make sure it closes up. But it does close with all this bedding that we have in here now, which is great. All right, so part of the premium package is the overhead pockets here. Um, I'm not sure if there are any other packages. So as I said, just jump on the website and check what packages have what, because I could be getting it wrong. But storage pockets up here, which is great for our, we've got our books, phones, everything we need for when we go to bed. Um, USB point is up here as well. So we can plug the phones in there and just slide them into these pockets, which is great. And then we've got another touch light up the top um for tent you know just having light in the tent which is fantastic uh so yeah i think it's just a really nice comfortable space to be up here windows are huge so we're getting heaps of airflow when we need it we've got that awning out the front so if we if it's raining we can have that out we can have the window open at the front there and uh we can get plenty of breeze coming in which is great so just for reference i'm 62 uh, my feet are just hanging out over the end, but that's just double beds. Um, my feet hang out over pretty much anything, unless it's a king. Um, so I'm used to that anyway, that's fine. I am right up near the hinge here, and the pitch is so great that um, I'm not feeling claustrophobic. The roof's far enough away from my head, um, so which is great for two people, I think, sleeping in a tent. Again, I'm 6'2", and I'm... Standing up, my head is pushing against the roof, but I'm standing up straight inside now, which I think is pretty ridiculous. Just to give you an idea of the height, I'm literally on the trap door on the end of the bed so I can stand up, which is fantastic because this morning when I wanted to get dressed, it's just a lot easier standing up, putting my things on. Um, so it just goes to show how much room is in these conversions. All right, so I'm just in the driver's seat here. We thought we'd just uh, have me jump in just to show how much room I've got. I don't feel like it's coming down on me, which is great. So um, that's really nice. All right, so wrapping up my initial thoughts, I just think these conversions in a troopy just really makes them about the best two-person tour you can possibly get. Being able to stand up inside, get out of the weather, do your stuff, even just having enough headspace to sit down and do your work is just huge a huge advantage. And then obviously having a really comfortable sleeping option up top is just fantastic. Uh, reduces the weight, gets the weight down low uh, as compared to a standard rooftop tent. As I said, this one here is made in Brisbane, so it's Australian made. The workmanship is fantastic. The fabrication is great. I genuinely believe it's the best looking roof conversion on the market that you can get. Uh, and compared to some of the others, I just think that this has uh, the best features with regards to the pitch, um, the way it looks. There's plenty of room inside um, and there's plenty of options. So if you want those internal hinges, you can get it. You've got the external hinges, which are really nice and strong. Um, so yeah, I think it's just got plenty of advantages at some good price points through the range. So definitely check out their website. Uh, Ollie would love to have a chat to you. We're really keen to go traveling in this thing and just test it out a bit more. Maybe I'll give my thoughts on it in another six months or even maybe at the end of this three month trip where we're going across the canning. We're just near Tibberborough now, New South Wales, right at the corner. So we're really taking it through some uh, pretty extreme environments. So if it can survive the canning, 
and all these desert tracks that I think is gonna be good for anywhere in the world. So thanks for watching. Keep tuned for the next video and we'll see you next one. Thanks.